Welcome to Kourou for this first launch of the year from CSG. It has been less than nine months since we last welcomed an SAS launch team in our facilities. SAS has been a very faithful customer of the IANESPAS family of launch vehicles, with more than 40 satellites entrusted to Ariane or to Soyuz. Our launch contract was initially for SAS-12. However, six months ago, SAS decided to launch SAS-14 instead of SAS-12 on Ariane 5. We were able to accommodate this request in the short time left till launch, in spite of the particularities of SES-14, such as the need for a purging system up to liftoff for the NASA Gold payload on board uh, SES-14. SES-14 is an important satellite for SES as it will allow us to better serve our existing video and network customers, as well as enable growth opportunities for new markets. What is very interesting about SES-14 is that it's our second hybrid satellite with wide beam serving cable neighborhood in Latin America and direct to home customer, and as well high throughput spot beams across the Americas and Atlantic. This will serve the dynamic aeronautical maritime backhaul and broadband markets. I'm very proud to have on board a NASA hosted payload called GOLD. This mission, designed and manufactured by the universities of Florida and Colorado, will explore our near space environment in great details. We are very excited about this satellite because it carries the first SES digital processor which enables us to offer customized solutions to our customers. SES-14, built by Airbus Defence and Space in Toulouse, is the second spacecraft in the Eurostar 3000 EOR series to be launched. It will rely on its electrical propulsion system to reach its final orbit. As both satellites on this launch use electrical propulsion, and thanks to the performance available on the Ariane 5 vehicle, we have been able to optimize the delivery orbit and reducing the time needed to the, for the satellite to reach GEO. With my team, I have been managing SES-14 procurement at Airbus facility from the initial concept within SES up to launch. Therefore, I'm looking forward to see SES-14 serving our customers. So all the best to the teams for this final chronology and for the satellite early operations. Thanks.